I think we are all familiar with paper clips. It's such a simple but great invention in our daily life. Paper clips are usually made of steel wires. They use the elasticity in the wires and friction between wire and paper to work for us in the office. However, the elastic behavior in steel wires is limited. What will happen if we bend or pull hard on a paper clip? Will it be able to restore the original shape? Of course not. The steel wires easily reach the plasticity and the paper clip will then stay at the deformed shape. Let's create a simulation of a paper clip to learn how the material behaves in this case. For the boundary conditions of the problem, assume that we're holding the paper clip on the outer loop by one hand and bend the inner loop by the other hand. We can use fixed support for the outer circular edge and apply a 90 degree rotation as displacement control to the inner circular edge. After the paper clip reaches the design shape, we will release the displacement control so that it can freely return to a final position. Since the paper clip is made of steel wire, here we will use a steel material model with metal plasticity. The steel material yields when von Mises stress reaches 250 megapascal. The hardening of the steel material is isotropic bilinear hardening. From the results, we can see that the paper clip deforms a lot in the first step. After the displacement control is released, the deformation returns by a small amount. The rest of the deformation in the paper clip is caused by the plasticity of the steel material and it is unrecoverable. For von Mises stress, we can see that at the end of step 1, for most part of the paper clip, the value exceeds the yield stress 250 megapascal. After the displacement control is removed, von Mises stress is decreased to below the yield stress. Now, let's have a look at the plastic strain. Plastic strain is a direct indicator of plasticity. At the end of step 1 and step 2, the paper clip has exactly the same plastic strain distribution. Again, this is because plastic deformation is not recoverable. Once developed in the material, it will never disappear. Consider this. What if we solve this problem with an elastic material instead of a plastic one? You will find that, no matter how large the deformation is, once the displacement control is released, the paper clip will return to the original configuration. We know that, in reality, this will not happen for a paper clip. So if we are using wrong material model for our analysis, we are losing part of the truth. Another application we want to discuss falls into the field of biomechanical engineering. Cardiovascular stent is a tiny wire mesh tub. It opens a clogged artery and is left in the artery permanently. Once the stent is inserted to the artery at the right location, the physician will expand the inner balloon of the stent which deforms the metal stand to its expanded size. Then the balloon will be removed and the stand will be left in the artery to provide support. Cardiovascular stands are widely used now to help patients with clogged artery or even heart attack. The stand is usually made of metal, for example, stainless steel. Because of metal plasticity, the stand can stay in the expanded size in an artery after the balloon is removed. Here, we create a mechanical simulation of the procedure that a stand is expanded in the artery and is left there without further load. Two different material models are used for the system. Linear elasticity for the artery and the plaque parts, and metal plasticity for the stand. In this case, we are more interested to the behavior of the stand. The stand is modeled as standard stainless steel with bilinear hardening. The Young's models, Poisson's ratio, yield stress, and hardening models are given for the material. The artery and plaque parts are constrained in the two ends in radial and longitudinal directions. On the inner surface of the stand, a pressure is applied to expand the stand in radial direction in first step. After it reaches the deformed shape, the pressure is removed, and the system is free to deform to a balanced configuration. Based on the results, we can see that the stand recoil a little bit in the second step when pressure is removed, but the radius of the artery is indeed increased permanently after the procedure. 
As for plastic strand, we know that it is unrecoverable and we saw in the paper clip problem, the plastic strand remains to be the same after the release. However, in this case, you will find that the accumulated plastic strand is a little bit increased in the final shape compared to the shape before removing the pressure. This is because the artery and plaque parts are made of elastic materials. In the process of recoil, these two parts would like to return to the original shape, and this will lead to pushback load to the stand. For some local areas of the stand, the plastic strand starts to grow in the opposite direction. This way, the accumulated plastic strand is even increased.